What's up guys? Up North Rider here. Just going out for a nice little roll. I'm just heading over the Dargaville just for the heck of it. Just want to stretch the legs on the old bike and go for a ride. Talking about going for a ride. Got a big ride coming up. Um, all going well. I'm going to be going to the Brass Monkey this year. It's uh Oh, I don't know. Between 1500 and 1600 kilometers from here. And I'm going to ride down there in two days. So, basically, ride from here to Wellington. And then catch a ferry. Stay the night in Picton. And then ride from Picton all the way down to uh, where the brass monkeys held down in Inland Otago in the Ida Valley the little township of Oturehua yeah, it's not far from Ranfilly so it's a fair way fair way to go um, the France Monkey is one of those rallies it's a bit of a cult a bit of a cult classic here in New Zealand it's the 40th Brass Monkey you know I've always wanted to go to the Brass Monkey talked about it for years and years and years haven't made it and and then I've you know I haven't made it down there yet but then this year is the last year they're actually gonna have it this year is the last year of the brass monkey or well, the last advertised year anyway so yeah so it's now or never I've pretty much got to go now or or miss out so got to shot a few things happening though at around the same time as when this is all going on so I'm not a hundred percent how it's going to pan out uh, really want to go I've actually brought my ticket I've got my ticket to the brass monkey um, booked the ferries booked some accommodation but the good thing is I can cancel the ferry, cancel the accommodation. The only thing I'd actually lose out on would be the ticket. But uh, yeah, well, you know, as I get going with this, I'll uh, I'm gonna have to do a couple of practice rides just to get the body used to it. The rump area used to having to go and sit for hours. I know that there's, you know, you just take breaks and all that sort of thing and you, you do what you have to do and that's easy enough. But... Uh, you still got to get out there and do those miles, eh? Like I say, there's a couple of circuits I can do up and around here. Three, four hours. You know, I could do the same circuit here, go to, to do the Twin Coast. Man, if I did the real Twin Coast, go up here and around and back through the East Coast and all that, it's a four or five hour circuit. You know? Gonna have to do a couple of big rides in between now and then, just to get the body tuned up yeah either side of going to the brass monkey I've got some real big things happening like I work for the local refinery and we've got a shutdown on and that shutdown is basically finishes a week before I go and I'm on night shift so the body will have to get switched around and get ready to go um, do the big trip so it'll be two days down do the rally on the third day fourth day I'm, draw, I'm riding back to Picton you know, fifth day I'm riding home so yeah, got a lot on it's a big trip uh, as a round trip be looking at doing I don't know, between 3200 to 3400 kilometres in the space of five days yeah <laughs> it's gonna be full on I'm looking forward to it though this bike here she's a she's a beast this bike here is well and truly up to it um, you know I'll just get things going on with it like put the big screen back on that's gonna be here uh, change out the seat from the single here to the the big tourer the, the big double seat which has a big old backrest um, 
and of course on that same tourist seat there's a sissy bar for the passenger for the pillion so yeah on that same tourist seat there's a sissy bar so I'll try and keep my gear down to the level of just filling my my uh, bags here you know just on the bagger I may take an extra bag I know I can get everything into my bags here like a Ted bedroll cooker a couple of backcountry meals dehydrate meals uh, you know sleeping bag that sort of thing spare clothes I can get the whole lot into my bags but sometimes you just want that little bit extra you know you might be cruising on down on the way down go to a pub or something you know you want a nice change of clothes and some shoes don't want to have to be wearing their old boots you know <clears throat> so so yeah so that's what's going to be going on that's what is pretty much going to be a big old focus for me at the moment is trying to get down to the brass monkey down in the Ida Valley central Otago man Woo! Oh, did I mention that it's in the uh, Queen's birthday weekend here in New Zealand, which is the first weekend of June, which is heading into winter. And they have had some mighty cold days down there. Some of the coldest ones, some of the coldest days on record in New Zealand is from that area of the country. So there's a lot more obstacles they're going to have to worry about down there than up here. Like, you can ride year round up here, no worries. Might get a bit of rain, no such thing as ice on the roads. None of that sort of stuff, you know? We just got ourselves. So, yeah folks, that's gonna be me.